Hey everyone, it's time for the August Sakura Co. Review. This box's theme is Festivals of Okinawa. Thank you very much to Caitlin Lilly for sponsoring this box and for asking that CL Phantom Hive review it. Next month I will have a Boxu and a Sakura Co. So if you would like to sponsor one of those and pick the character who reviews it, you will be able to do that. I'll be putting them on my wish list shortly and I will put the link in the description. And now, let's get to the review. Before I start talking about what's in the box, I would like to address another issue. See, the other box that I get comes shipped in bubble wrap, which presumably minimizes the damage of the contents inside. This box doesn't come that way. And unfortunately this month, there are a couple of items where the shape of them is the novelty. The flavor, at least of the one that I tried, is nothing to write home about. The main point is that they have cute shapes. That doesn't work when it's smashed to pieces, which happened to two things in this box. As the head of Buntum Corporation, I deal in confectionery and I would never ship anything this way, as it arrives damaged. Take note. Now, as for what's inside, let's see. I've only tried some of these so far. The first thing is Kokuto Nanju. I did try these. They're little steamed buns and they are brown sugar flavored. And they have red bean paste inside. I did eat one of these before, so I don't need to eat one now. But I can tell you the texture is very nice. And the bun part does taste quite a bit like brown sugar. The inside is just red bean paste, so if you like it, you'll like these. Otherwise, it's not terribly exciting. Next is Benny Emo Donut Bowl. I think I had something like this before. This is, I think, supposed to be sweet potato flavored. These are really strange. They seem like they're soft on the outside and then they're almost like they're... Like they've been dipped in syrup almost. They have a strange texture and they're always a little bit hard and crystallized in the middle. I am going to taste this again because I don't really remember what it tasted like. It's very pink. I think I had another one that was cherry. And then this one confused me because it looks almost the same. I do taste the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. But they are very strangely hard in the middle, and I'm not sure why. Tasty, though. Hmm. I suppose we'll see what's special about this tea. Sun Tin Tea. It says it aids in digestion. It has a floral aroma. We'll see about that. I'm not really an expert on green tea. No, I do taste that. It is a bit floral. It doesn't say what's in it.
It's not bad. I prefer tea I'm allowed to put sugar in. But it's a little more complex than I thought at first. I do taste the floral, whatever it is. Sebastian would probably know what's in it. Ah oh, yes, the souvenir. This is a Bingata Uchiwa. And Uchiwa is a little fan. And they've given me a nice blue one, so I appreciate that. I do wonder how much use it is as a fan, however, it's very small. But it's pretty. Now, here's one of the things that broke. One of them survived. There were two. And this is an Uchiwa festival cookie. So it's shaped like the fan. It's got little crabs on it, actually. I'm not really sure why. Now, I had another one. And it had um, maple leaves on it. It looked the same. And I ate it. It was broken in, like, three pieces. And I ate it. And it's not really that good as a cookie. It tastes very burnt. I assume from the colour it's meant to be that way. But I didn't really like it that much. And that's why I say the whole novelty is in the shape and the cookie is not really exciting on its own. So to have it smashed into pieces defeats the purpose. Now I've been looking forward to this. Summer Senbei. I kind of wanted to eat this before, but there's only one, so I didn't want to open it. I kind of prefer when there's a bunch of small ones rather than one big one. But often when there's one big one, it has a nice texture. So I was hoping for this. Hmm, yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Mm. Honey and soy sauce. Okay, that's why. Mm. It has a nice summary package too. From the picture in the book, there are different ones. Hmm. Yes, that's excellent. I really like that. Made up for the rather nasty cookie. Strange for me to prefer the savory thing to the sweet. Hmm. I think this is what I want. Cocoto peanuts. They're encased in a coating of brown sugar. I guess they're just nuts with brown sugar on them. They smell like peanuts. Mmm. These are pretty good. I'm not a big fan of peanuts. But these are not terrible. I think I've had something similar before. But I like the brown sugar. Now. I'm having trouble finding some of these things because... They're not showing me what the package looks like. Is it this? Okinawan chili oil arare. Ah yes, this is it. Once again, I expected there to be smaller ones in a big package. There's two of these. What's the 
use in two little crackers? Tell me that. I'm not a fan of spicy things. But these are not awful. It has a nice light texture. Oh, there's the chili. Ouch. <laughs> They're not bad. I would prefer to have more of those, actually. But I think if I ate too many at once, it would be too hot for me. Now let's have a sweet thing. Pineapple mochi manju. I'm looking forward to this. Mm. So this is uh, very soft. Oh, it's got mochi on the inside, I see. So there's a bun, and then there's a layer of mochi, and then there's pineapple inside. Hmm. That's really good. I think that's my favorite thing so far. Very nice. Now here's the other one that broke. And it's quite sad. Look at it. It's supposed to be a sawfish. But sadly, he's broken in several pieces. His nose broke off and then his head broke off. So let me taste his nose and see what's going on here. Not a bad texture. Soy sauce flavor, of course. Not super exciting. The best thing about it would have been the shape, which you ruined by shipping it badly. Next is Okinawan Salt Senbei. I ate these before already. They have a texture kind of like, like Melba toast. They're very light and crunchy and they're just salt flavored. So they're nice, but not really exciting. They're good as like a palate cleanser, I suppose. Mmm. Red tomato arare, I didn't like this. I ate one of these. I'm glad these were small. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes anyways. And this actually tasted like a raw one, which I hate most of all. So if you like them, you'll like this. And if you're me, you won't. I had these before, I think. Pickled daikon or kaki. They're almost gone. I ate most of them. They're light and crispy and they have a very smoked flavor. They're really good. I'm fond of those. Now this... They sent us some random things. And it's weird because I've got two random things and it seems to say there's only one. Now this I've had before. They're just sort of, um, they're like puffed rice and they're a little bit sweet. They're kind of nice. 
I think I had two of these before. Though the ones I had before, they were coloured. They were white and pink and green. Oh wait, I see. There are some in there, but most of them are white. And then this. Which... <laughs> I forgot that I had one of these in here. Me cut on jelly. This is... I should have brought a spoon. This is extremely undignified. I suppose we just won't tell Sebastian about it. I couldn't remember what that tasted like. I'd had it months ago. So it's very mild citrus. It's a bit like an orange, but not quite so sharp. So I actually rather prefer that. It's much milder than... I find orange flavor to be very aggressive. And this one's not like that. So yeah, me calm, better. I think that's it now. Um, all right, well, that should be not too difficult. I will stop complaining about the broken things, but that was a very big disappointment. So my favorite savory thing is these. They're very easy to eat, so it's good that there's a big bag. That uh, chili oil thing wasn't bad either, but there's not enough of them. So that's getting runner up for savory. For sweet, this thing for sure. But I'm very fond of pineapple. And the texture of this is so soft. I want to just keep eating it. Now, things I don't like. That little tomato thing. This. I don't like that. But that's a personal preference. And if you like tomatoes, you'll probably like it better than me. Otherwise, I'm still not really sold on the texture of these, to be honest. I keep expecting them to be softer. And they're always very hard. I'm just going to keep eating this. don't want the texture to go off. In any case. That's it. For the August Sakura Co box. Thank you for joining me. Perhaps I shall be privileged enough to do one of these in the future. But I suppose we'll see about that, won't we? Till then, see you next time. <laughs>